Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Pura 7D Pro and today I'll show you how we can insert SIM card into this phone. Now before we get started, you will need to grab a SIM ejector similar to this one which comes provided with the device and the box. But if you can't find it, you could also use a paper clip, turn out one of the ends and it should work just as well. Okay, there we go, I almost dropped it. Uh, now, if you have one of, uh, either one of those, you can then pop off the cover if you have one on your device. And the tray is located at the bottom of the phone right over here. Now you might find uh, a couple different like areas where you might think to insert this. The one that you want to utilize is the one that is part of this cutout right here, closer to the edge. Now the one that I grabbed is actually too small, so I'm not going to force it in there. Oh, the other way around, uh, the actual tool is too big is what she said um so there we go i have a better tool for the job i guess as you can see this one fits again there's a joke to be made anyway uh we're gonna push it in another joke to be made um and the tray will pop out enough for you to be able to pull it out now on the tray you'll have space for two different sim cards so one on either side you can obviously occupy both of these trays if you want to, or just one. Now, Huawei previously had uh, this nano memory storage, which was the same exact shape and size as a SIM card, uh, though the trays don't have any kind of labeling with NM, meaning nano memory. So I only presume that it does not accept any kind of uh, SD card, uh, nano memory SD cards more precisely. Uh, but if you have one laying around, you could check it out, shouldn't really damage the device. And obviously if the device detects it, that means that it, that it supports it. Now, um, anyway, placing our card on the tray, make sure that it's clipped in all the way. It should not be protruding from the tray, and if you flip it over, it shouldn't be falling out. From there, pop it back into your device, and the card should start working right away. There we go. Now, uh, Huawei is one of those absolutely annoying, infuriating companies that does this bullshit. Uh, I think it's literally the only one. So as you've probably seen at the beginning of the video, uh, my device was set to English. I popped in a Polish uh, SIM card, which I didn't want to change the language, the language on the device. I set it throughout the setup process to be English. That's why the setup is there. But as you can see, this a brilliant uh, idea of Huawei was to remove the language and set up the language of the SIM card. Because screw the setup process. So, um, number one, I'm just going to confirm the PIN. That's basically what it's asking uh, to unlock my SIM card. And once I do so, I will quickly show you how we can bring back your language. Because not everyone lives in a country and uses a mobile SIM in a country that they speak the language. You might be an exchange student or a crazy freaking idea. So, to bring back the language that you have chosen on your phone, you're gonna go to uh, settings and it is in Polish right now. So uh, actually let's uh, talk about the actual shapes and uh, what you're looking for. So you're looking for this icon right here. No matter the language, it doesn't ever change how it looks like. So it looks like a gear icon, gray. Then in here, we're gonna scroll down to um, now I do need to figure it out myself for in a brief way. Let's see. Trying to figure out where it's hidden in here. Okay, uh, I believe it's going to be in the system and the updates, which is a second last option. And again, it says a gear icon, though this one is uh, blue, as you can see. So click on it. And then you're looking for the third option from the top, right here, with a language and... Uh, I have some region because I have no clue how to translate that one. It doesn't really make sense. Anyway, uh, so I presume this is just a weird language translation. This should be probably language and region. But anyway, we're going to go to the first option in here, uh, which is a uh, language and region. And then you will see the languages that are added here. Um, which for me, it has only Polish, which before that was only English, but you know, Huawei decided to remove English and just make it in Polish as the only one. So we're gonna click on the second option, which you will only have the second option, or you'll only have one language added, no matter how many languages I believe you had before. So you're looking for the add language, which uh, if you have multiple options in blue here, just uh, select the last one, which is add language. 
and then find your desired language from the list. I'll be re-adding English. Now, once you select some language, it will give you this pop-up at the bottom asking you if uh, you want to change the language. Now, the accept option is on the right side, though this is a caveat. If you live somewhere like in, I believe, Dubai, as an example, um, the language there is, if I'm if I remember correctly, is being written from right to left instead of left to right. Uh, in such a cases, the uh, accept option will be actually reversed, as all the options will basically everything is mirrored almost, uh, as that's kind of how the language works. So, um, so instead of selecting the right option, you would then select uh, left one. But that is only when all these options, instead of being right now on the left side, are appearing on the right. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna select change. And there we go, we came back our default language that we have chosen throughout the setup process. Now, uh, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, and if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.